Researchers have found an old drug that could be an effective treatment for COVID-19. This drug is called cyclosporin, and it's used to prevent rejections of a transplanted organ. Cyclosporin was shown to reduce the viral load of COVID patients. It's also reduced the body's own production of interleukin-6, which could lower the risk of death caused by severe inflammation. Not only that, when scientists combined with drug with remdesivir, the two drugs become even more effective at fighting COVID together than they were individually. Ambulances come and go carrying ailing COVID patients to hospitals. During this summer's COVID outbreak, hospitals in the north came under tremendous stress. Research teams raced against time to find new therapies against the viral disease. One of those teams was at the National Health Research Institute. We drew up a list of 230 NHI-covered drugs that were more likely to have an effect. We tested their inhibitory effects on two COVID strains and found some that did fairly well. Then we proceeded to administer them along with remdesivir to see if the combined treatment was more effective. Cyclosporin is an immunosuppressive agent that's used to prevent rejection after organ transplant. NHRI researchers found that administering this drug with remdesivir had a synergistic effect on reducing viral load. This regimen was also able to inhibit interleukin-6, a hallmark predictor of COVID progression. Studies show that inhibiting interleukin-6 can reduce the severity of the disease. First, it targets the virus itself, inhibiting the replication of the virus. Then it also targets the human body's own response, that is, the cell response triggered by the invasion of the virus. The cells have an inflammatory response and other reactions. Researchers found that remdesivir, when administered alone, reduced patient viral loads by 5 percent. It also reduced the production of interleukin-6 by up to 10 percent. But when remdesivir was given with cyclosporin, viral loads dropped by 90 percent. Interleukin-6 production fell by nearly 80 percent. Researchers say the figures are promising, suggesting that cyclosporin has exciting potential as an effective COVID treatment.